I love that Animal Crossing, it's like our bestest TV show. There's always something new to see. It's like every episode, every update, every data mine, every little piece is so interesting. Our eyes are glued to this game and we cannot look away because we love it. So we say yay every time they do it. And they do it so often. Updates, data mines, new little tweaks and features. Fun stuff to look forward to. I'm so happy to be an Animal Crossing fan. And I'm so glad I get to share it with you. So buckle the heck up and tune in for the next episode of New Horizons. There are two courses to every Animal Crossing update. The first comes served on a golden platter. It is the update itself. It's delicious. It's ooey, gooey, juicy, and awesome. But then there's the second course. It's a little bit more mysterious, it's hidden, it comes beneath a silver platter, and it lets us know what lurks in the future beneath the shadows. And that's the piece of this update meal that we're talking about today. What does the update from 1.5 data mine us deep into the future? What's going on everybody? It's Zach from Switch Force. Pray for Brewster, cross your fingers, and let's dig in. This is always exciting because data mines, if you don't know, are where they dig into the code after an update rolls around and it helps us know what's coming next data mines have proven very accurate with things like diving farming red leaf all sorts of stuff has been seen first in the data mines and it's a great indicator of what features what shops what characters are coming soon so this is a big moment for us it could be anything and i would love for it to be brewster i mean kk's over here singing the sad tunes pigeons fly not in our sky wish he'd come i'm gonna cry and we did not get the perfect pigeon nor his roost in 1.5, but maybe, maybe, maybe there will be some indication that the bird, that the feather, that the friend is coming during the winter weather in the data mine. We're gonna have to dig in. I got it all queued up for you, but I also wanna point out that my flowers, a flower power squad came to depopulate my island and it looks so good. Thank you. Shout out to everybody that came and helped clear things out. I know it was an absolute mess. Make sure to smash that like button if you think my island looks Nice. I'm working on it. Give me some give me some good vibes. I got space to add some new stuff. I'm really into the design this fall. It's going to be fun. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite part of this data mine is. Let's get right to it. Now, like I said, data mines have yielded everything thus far. The only thing that hasn't shown up is Brewster was data mined a while back. The roost was supposed to be in the museum. Gyroids were data mined, and they were a thing. They just have not materialized, but everything else has. Farming. Well, not cooking. Cooking's also another thing, but that feels to me maybe tied to the roost. Let's uh, zoom in here. The dragonfly is about to settle. So let's see what we got. Now, this comes from the main Animal Crossing source named Ninji. He is a very, very... He's a miner of, of all things future AC. He really digs deep. He's like the, the seven dwarves if they came to Animal Crossing and always found the perfect gems. Hi-ho, Ninji. Things about ACNH 1.5. By first glance, no new wild things that weren't in the trailer. Two new reactions, going off remove files, text. I suspect they've tightened down the ability for people to hack in internal furniture items. Lots of tweaks to Tom Nook's dialogues. These are his first notes. That's interesting that Tom Nook's dialogue is being tweaked. Two people asked me about the change to Nook's dialogue. It's not that interesting. So he's got some verbiage changes that go from like, I know you're just waiting for me to offer you another expansion to, I know you're just waiting for me to offer to expand your home. So some slight dialogue changes, which is interesting. It kind of looks like Nintendo is shrinking down, but I'm not quite sure. Or are they expanding? I think they're shrinking down. Well, I guess that's good. They're listening ever so slightly. Maybe the reduction reducing a little bit for us quality of life perhaps okay let's continue data mine other fun things villagers can now comment on more categories of furniture displayed in your house there's oh you have my photo on display how nice dialogue now this is interesting why would the villagers comment on the photo of them in their home i mean i obviously am glad that they're aware we're best friends but what does that indicate now, Ninji goes on to say down here that I'm not sure why they're adding to the villager comments in your stuff dialogue because I don't know when it's used. Maybe they're preparing to finally add villagers visiting you in an upcoming update. Versions 1.0 to 1.2 had event flow scripts for it, but they hid them in 1.3. And if we scroll back to Ninji's first comments, he lets us know that they're really, really tightening down on certain things. One of them is the ability to hack in internal furniture items. And one thing from the last update, 1.4, that they tightened is they clouded, removed, and hid a lot of their features and a lot of their code to make it harder to data mine into. I think they noticed that Ninji and others were really sussing out exactly what was going to happen and they wanted to be more mysterious. So know that Nintendo is trying to lock it down, but there's this interesting possibility that villagers are commenting more on your stuff because they're going to be able to come to your house 
inviting them over would be a nice fun way to expand upon the friendship meter that right now is kind of limited. I've seen people request more dialogue from their villagers, more interaction with their villagers, more ability to just chill with them and have a popsicle or a donut on a stick. Coming to your house would be a great way to expand on that, don't you think? It would be a nice thing to say, hey, Cranston, man, I've been hunting you and I've been hot on your tail for a whole long time, and now you can finally come hang out with me. That's great. If we scroll back up, there's apparently some other dialogue changes, such as, surprised to see me? You're about to see a lot more of me and these bulging arms. Jock's always on the prowl. To, ha ha ha, good to see you. Who's got bulging biceps and a new home? This frog, or this gorilla, or this kangaroo. Jocks are a little strange. Was the first one accidentally too lewd? You're about to see a lot more of me and these bulging arms. Okay there, bucko. There's a reason jocks aren't the preferred personality type. I fully understand now. But let's dig a little bit deeper. They remove some things, which is a bummer. They remove the reference to gyroids, all the non-pumpkin veggies, unused categories for Sanrio furniture, walls, and rugs. They added another set of references for vegetables, though, so that's promising. Okay, so they removed the mentions of vegetables but they added references to vegetables. So more vegetables are for sure coming. They didn't start this pumpkin farming thing for no good reason. They just now have hidden like squash and some of the other veggies that previously had protruded beyond the code. Now I do hope that we get corn in November. Corn on the cob, wouldn't it be fun to harvest and farm? I really think they need to add a plethora of new veggies in the 1.6 update hitting mid to late November because right now farming is just grabbing pumpkins and pumpkins are great. I don't know how my dude bites into them. It's a little weird, but there needs to be more. He says, the mystery, mystery plumeria bush is now just PLM. They added the set of references. They removed the Sanrio stuff. Okay. Um, no mention of Brewster yet, which is a bummer, but it also makes sense, and maybe it's a good thing. Brewster has been hidden, possibly, because he is coming, or he's been removed because he ain't coming. But I got a campaign for this guy. Stay tuned. I think we're, like, a week away from the Brewster magic that I'm going to put forth to bring the energy of the big pigeon to our game. 1.6 or 1.7 is when this dude is going to show up. All right, the list of items that NPCs can hold has gained these incomprehensible entries. P-Bag, Kane, p TR, M-Chart, F-Pan, m, -chart, f -pan, m -cos, F and K, CU-10. Feel free to speculate on what these might be. Mmm, I'm also wondering if this signals that we're going to get ceiling items too. They've added ceiling mentions. And that is something that we have none of in the game. We're not able to put fans or drapery or thing on the things on the ceiling, which has happened previously, and it's not a part of the game, which would be a nice way to double down on the customization and the design capabilities. I love when they add new item sets like the Halloween set, but I also like when they expand, right? When they give us more options. They did that in a way with the pumpkin patch. They did that in a way with bushes. They did that in a way, you know, with some of the things they've added along, along the course of the game. But this would be a nice one to... Make your house a little bit more 360. They also talk about these other items. Cane. Is that a reference to an NPC? Can you think of an NPC that would have a cane? Hey, it's time to wake up. Or I guess go to bed if we're feeling old and tired of the cane. The other one is F-Pan that stands out to me. F-Pan could be a reference to frying pan and could continue to hint and indicate that cooking is right around the corner. Now, I know this is granular and I know we're getting into the details and the nitty-gritty and predictions here, but I think F-Pan has to be frying pan, which probably relates to cooking, something that an NPC can hold. And the cane, I mean, I guess villagers could just feel like they got injured and really need some support or they're aging after seven months on the island. But this might mean, yeah, you know who I'm talking about. All right. Um, there are no references to another upgrade to Nook's Cranny, but they realized and hid them. Or sorry, there were references to another upgrade, but they realized and hid them along with some other stuff. So Nook's Cranny upgrade, Brewster veggies, a lot of things, gyroids, a lot of things have been hidden or removed. And I'm going to say that I bet they have been hidden more than removed. I think that Nintendo, again, got coy on the fact that people were very aware of these data mines and they didn't want to spoil what's going on. Now, I find it to be very fun because we never know exactly how it's going to be implemented. Like, what does farming mean? What does cooking mean? How will Brewster come about? I love the little indications and I also love my cleared out space. And my campsite is back to feeling like a campsite instead of an overrun allergy party. You know, my campsite previously was a place where you could come and have fun and play ping pong and sit in the hot tub, and then it quickly became a spot where if you wanted to get allergies, you could show up and it would it would happen within seconds, my friends. Within seconds. 
Now, we're not going to get a new update within seconds. It's mid-November before we see another turn of the numbers, and we might even get a 1.5.2 in the meantime. I, in fact, expect it, something that handles bugs and maybe curtails some issues around the end of October, maybe even around Halloween time. But our next big additions will come in the form of Franklin and Jingles and whatever else they choose to bring in late November. Now, a lot of people are predicting that it's going to be a minor update with just two characters focusing on the events. But I feel after this recent 1.5 update kind of skipped out on gameplay mechanics, they're going to bring something big. And it wouldn't surprise me if it was cooking, and it wouldn't surprise me if it was Brewster. In fact, it'd be a little more surprised if it was Brewster, but they know how bad people want Brewster. And an end of the year Brewster party would be pretty freaking fun, and I would be very, very glad. I would be, you know, beyond glad if you, you know, if you if you followed me at all or seen these things. But out of that data mine, it's honestly one of the smaller data mines. And I think it's not because Ninji isn't able to find it or because this data mine doesn't hold much, this update doesn't hold much. I think it's merely just because Nintendo has gotten a lot better at really obfuscating and hiding what is coming. But we do have the reference to the villagers coming to our house, which I think happens. And we do have interesting ceiling item mentions, which those aren't in there for nothing. I think ceiling items are gonna be a part of the next update as a nice little cosmetic slash customization change and another opportunity to design our houses a little bit further. What's interesting though is the hidden held items and if those are gonna to relate to new NPCs or current villagers. And I always say, Nobody talks about it, but I always say it's possible that Nintendo drops a brand new NPC that we don't know about. We talk about Tortimer, we talk about Brewster, we talk about all these guys. But the fact of the matter is they could honestly innovate a new character, a la Flick or CJ or Daisy May, and that's totally plausible. So maybe some of this stuff actually references the items or the appearance of a new NPC we can't possibly predict. What it doesn't reference is Brewster, so we'll continue to be on the holdout, continue to be on the lookout, continue to really cross our fingers and just really send our best wishes to the skies above that this pigeon descends like a turtle dove and blesses our island soon enough. Stay tuned. I got the goods. I'm coming at you hot in about a week or so. You guys are going to love what you see. I'm so excited to actually be at the forefront of getting this guy in the game. In the meantime, though, everybody, let me know what you think about the data mine. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and are proud of my island. Getting a little bit better every day. We're really making some nice gains. I think the Flower Power Squad on the deflowering of Peach Reef was a beautiful move. And I'm excited to... I think I'm going to move my museum, actually, which would be big news for me. Because Peach Reef has never seen a building be moved. Oh, madness after seven months now. But we're, we're on to something here with this design uh, sensibility and these updates that we put in place. So give me your take in the comments down below. Make sure to stay safe, stay healthy, stay smart out there. I love you guys so much. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're enjoying your weekend. And until next time, everybody, stay safe, stay healthy, stay smart. Have a fantastic rest of your day. Remember, special shout out. See you on the streams later this week. And until that time, Switch Force, out.